We know what COP26 is, but what happens at it? And how can kids get involved? I know. Come with me. COP26, according to the kids, a closer look. Accredited delegates, media and observers attend two weeks of meetings to make decisions about what their countries will do to fight climate change and help the people already most affected by it. Delegates are politicians and leaders from countries around the world. They make policies and laws in their own countries that affect climate change. They also decide who needs to take responsibility for what actions. The media are news reporters and journalists who report news about the COP in their own countries. There will be reporters from all over the world in Glasgow. Observers are people who are interested in fighting climate change and protecting people. They watch the meetings but don't take part. Then they meet with people in other meetings and tell them what happened at the COP. This helps make sure that politicians do what they said they would and helps organisations work with governments. It also helps campaigning groups find out whether the governments are making decisions about the issues that are most important to ordinary people or not. Delegates will have meetings to discuss money, energy, youth and public voice, nature and adapting, gender equality, science, transport and cities. Money. How much will it cost and who is going to pay for the changes we need to make? Energy. How can we make sure all the power we use is clean and not dirty? Youth and public voice. Are politicians listening to young and indigenous people? Nature. How are we protecting plants, animals and biodiversity? Adapting. What changes do we need to make to live safely in a warmer climate? Gender equality. Making changes to make sure women and girls have the same opportunities as men and boys. Science. What do scientists say we need to do? Transport. We need much more public transport and greener buses, trains and cars. Cities. Making cities cleaner, safer and greener because most people around the world live in them. The meetings will happen at the SECC, next to the River Clyde. During these two weeks, that area will become an international zone, governed by international law. Other people travelling to Glasgow to take part in activities around COP26 will be in other buildings in and around the city centre. The People's Summit! While the delegates are having their meeting, another big meeting will also be happening. It is called the People's Summit. At this meeting, Indigenous people, who are already suffering the effects of climate change, can share their stories and solutions. Listening to them is like a gift from the future. They can teach us what we have to do. They know what it's like and what works. They can teach us what we need to tell our politicians to do. Unfortunately, these people are often from poorer countries. Every year it can be difficult for them to get to the COP. COVID-19 has made that even harder because only richer countries can afford to vaccinate everybody. You need to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 to get to COP26. So what can kids do for a COP? Imagine, create and share! The first step to creating something is to imagine it. If we can imagine a safer, greener, fairer future, we can make it happen. And we all know that kids have the best imaginations. Imagine what you want the world to look like when you're a grown-up. Not just for you, but for every child and adult around the world. Next, create something to show that greener, fairer future. Draw a picture of it, make a video, write a poem or a song, put on a play or an assembly with your friends or class. Then share your image for our future. Share your picture with your family, recite your poem for your granny, sing your song for your class, write letters to your politicians, as many of them as you want. They're the people who will be at the COP. Send them your picture of the future. Write to big shop owners and bank managers and power companies. Send them your creations. Tell them what you want our future to look like. Tell them you want them to make it come true. It's our right! The UN Convention on the Rights of the Child says all children have rights. We have a right to a clean, safe environment. We have a right to healthy food and water. We have a right to share our ideas and be listened to. So let's raise our voices. Imagine, create, share. A closer look at COP26 according to a kid. Thanks for watching. Bye.